Watch you're gonna this. call me out. You better bring receipts. Oh, I have them. My research. So I was watching a response video to my hack to get rid of your dark circles under your eyes. Now the hack is easy enough. You take oxmetazolone, which is inside of Afrin, and you put it underneath the eyes. No. Then you take Arnica and you put it over the top of that. Oh my god. Now, for temporary, just short term, no, we're going to get rid of those dark circles because the oxmetazolone is going to shrink the blood vessel size, and then the arnica is going to get rid of that, the actual pigment that makes it look dark. It's temporary. It works great. But this other pharmacist called me up. He just say my name. unsafe. And to never just do this because oxmetazolone can cause so many problems, he needs to do his research. So there's oh. this stuff out there called Rofate. It's seven hundred dollars. I know what it exact is. Exact same oxymetazolone at a one percent, and it's made mm -hmm. to put across your whole entire face forever, once a day. Mm -hmm. It's been proven safe and effective to do exactly what we need it to do, which is to shrink the blood vessels so temporarily those dark circles go away. And it's absolutely safe. So if you're gonna come after me, you better have your receipts because I have mine. Hey, Philip, I'm Ethan. I'm a pharmacist who stitched you about doing something really dangerous to your eyes. While I have receipts, do my research, I work in the skincare industry, and I also retain what I learned in pharmacy school, I'm gonna educate you. But one thing I will say you're right is that oxymetazoline hydrochloride is the same active ingredient that's in Afra nasal spray and Rofade, which is only FDA approved for rosacea. So you're not gonna be using this actually under your eyes. But these two products are not interchangeable because yes, the drug molecule is the same, but in pharmacy, we are trained early on that formulation matters just as much as what the active ingredient is. And this is something a pharmacy student learns when they're doing compounding 101 because the route of administration, concentration, pH, preservatives, and inactive ingredients all influence a product's safety and suitability for a specific part of the body, whether it's your eyes, your face, your nose. So Afrin is formulated to be used inside the nose where the mucosa can tolerate certain excipients and preservatives, while Rofade is specifically designed and tested to be used on our delicate facial skin, which has completely different tolerability standards. And Philip, I'll give you a helpful comparison that we learned in pharmacy school. So though both eye drops and ear drops contain the same active ingredient, such as like ciprofloxacin, for example, I'm going to be using. This doesn't mean that you can put eardrops in your eye. As we remember, you could put eye drops in your ear, but never eardrops in your eye. Because eye tissue requires strict sterility, specific tonicity, and pH. Factors that eardrops don't necessarily meet. So when you're using a product outside its intended route, it can result in irritation, tissue damage, or even serious complications. While I'm sure many of your followers believe you when you say, oh, if it's the same active ingredient, then that's all that matters. But what you're projecting really ignores the fundamentals of pharmaceutical formulation. And as pharmacists, we are the medication experts. And especially when it comes to different formulations of products, we should be able to convey that to patients.